Hey, wake up and watch this long ass video because we got a long damn time ahead of us. All right, I don't know if that made any sense, but this is gonna be a long ass video. And um, what's up, guys? Uh, I've yet to talk to y'all since I don't even know. Like, I haven't been posting on Strong Skins. I have been posting on Strong Graphics, but you know, I'm not as close to you all as Strong Skins as I am on Strong Graphics. So, um, no, wait, no, I'm not as close to you all on Strong Graphics as I am on Strong Skins. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm sorry, um, I will tell you all what's going on and stuff like that while I'm editing, because, um, you know, it would kind of be awkward for me just to be quiet in this raw edit, so, let's get right into it, and, uh, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on this one, or this edit, uh, I would say this is the style of Beyond the Buzzer, but, uh, I'm gonna title the video My Style of Beyond the Buzzer, because this is not really theirs, I don't have their brushes, I don't have, you know, I, I don't know, dude, but, like, you know, you know, F it. If you don't want to watch this damn video, I have this PSD in my folder or Google Drive, and you can simply just go in that and just say F the video and go on that shit and, you know, do whatever you want. But, for you guys that actually really want to watch this and learn how to do it yourself, watch right here. Um, sadly, I don't know how I can give away the brushes because, I like, I don't know how to do that. Like, I mean, actually, no, never mind. Never freaking my I lied. Um, to get these brushes, you have to buy my pack. Uh, just DM me on Sean Skins and we'll make a deal and shit like that. So just do that and yeah. Um, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to add our skin. We're going to try and make a Beyond the Butter skin. I just said Beyond the Butter. What the hell is a butter? Why, why am I saying that? But um, we're going to do uh, right around here. We're going to put it like to 20. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna click OK, and uh, basically what's been going on in my life recently has been baseball. Um, I just started up uh, the season, so, I mean, it's gonna be a busy-ass season, and I'm, I don't even know how I'm getting this video out to you all. I'm actually um, taking my time out of going somewhere. Instead, I'm doing a video for you all, so appreciate that, and... Um, you know, I, this is kind of a highly requested video. I just have yet to done it because I've been busy with school. And the reason why I posted so many pictures last week. Hold up. My dumb ass just said pictures. I meant to say videos. I didn't have Sorry, guys. So, I mean, that's why. But um, hopefully you guys are following the steps. You just simply follow what I do. And then, you know, it'll become the same shit I'm doing. So, you know, I, excuse me if I'm not talking right right now. I'm just too excited to talk to you all because I haven't talked to you all in a minute. And, you know, I got a lot of things to say, and I really want to get done this edit because I know you guys really want to see this video. Um, and shout out to you all that are actually watching this video because this video is going up late as hell. But, you know, it's whatever as long as I'm doing it. And um, that's all that matters. And many of you guys actually really wanted me to do this uh, a little beyond a buzzer style. So, yeah. Um, once you're done all the other steps, you just go to clean and then curly smooth and put it to strength 3 and then threshold to 0. So make sure you do that. Alright, now here's the boring ass part. Uh, we're gonna actually first off put the saturation a little bit up more like that, and then we're gonna go to masking. Alright, so we're gonna do this masking shit real quick. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see what else I could talk about. Uh, first off, I wanna thank you guys so much for 26,000 followers. I've actually grown uh, a lot since I've been out or haven't been posting videos or skins, I'd say. And uh, I really appreciate you guys that are actually stale. You know, still staying active with me and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I am responding to DM, so if you need to DM me a question or anything like that, I got you. Just DM me and we'll talk. And, and you know, don't be scared because I'm actually a really cool dude. And if you want to buy my pack, you also have to DM me. Um, that's the only way you can get these brushes. And uh, the brush name or the brush pack name is called All Brushes. So once you see that in the drive, you just click it and download it. And then it'll go into your Photoshop automatically and then simply hit the drop down menu right here go to brushes and then there you go this is all the shit you get so make sure you do that and the only way you can get it uh, look, here's an example of a brush that shit looks so nice all right so let's get back to masking but um you know i just made this edit actually i posted it on strong's graphics not too long ago and i'm kind of upset because i kind of wanted alabama to win you know i'm sec i, I gotta represent you know even though i'm not really an alabama fan i still had to represent sec but, um, yeah, Alabama didn't do too well. They, they kind of choked, I would say. They choked really hard. Um, 
you know, I'm kind of ashamed of him. I went to bed at halftime thinking Alabama's got this shit, and I woke up to a freaking disaster. The bitch won at one second. Like, what the hell, man? What's up with Saban in one second, dude? This dude has the worst luck at one second. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with that. So, that happened last night. Let's see what else I could talk about. Um, I know there's a lot. I just don't know what. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my videos I posted all last week, it was like, I was on a streak. I went five days without missing a video. So, make sure you guys do check out all those videos. I did like two raw edits, and they were actually really helpful. One of them was apps, and one of them was Topaz, or Photoshop. So, go check those out if you guys don't really want to see this one. And, um, you know, a lot of you guys really do like these type of edits because, you know, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I talk to y'all, and, um... You know, I do a step-by-step -step on um, the edit, stuff like that. So, um, sadly, this time I know what I'm doing, but, you know, all the other times I don't know what I'm doing. So, it's kind of, like, in a surprise and stuff like that. So, like, you guys are experiencing what I would experience if I didn't record. And, you know, basically this kind of stuff I do for speed art. So, you know, right now you would see this shit speeded up, but, you know, I decided to make a raw edit on it because I know many of you guys requested this. And I'm going to try my best to make it look like the other one. I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to try to find the brushes again, but I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think I'm good on the masking. I don't think there's anything else I need to mask. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we're going to do our number one thing first that's really important is to duplicate our background. And I know many of you guys tell me to click Control J, but, you know, in case you guys don't know how to duplicate, I'm going to show you all. You just right click and then click Duplicate. So make sure you do that, duplicate your background, and then you want to go to image up here, adjustments, black and white, click OK, and then you want to go to image again, and go to hue and saturation, and put the lightness a little bit down. You don't want to do it too much, but put it to where you like it. I think that's good to me. Now we're going to add a new layer, and we're going to get the color of their jersey, orange. I already have that, so basically just click this tool right here, and then just go over it like that. Um, hopefully that didn't just mess me up. It did. Damn it. Okay. Um, let me go back to orange. The orange that I want. Uh, something like that. Alright, that was good. Uh, now we're going to hit the paint brush with a paint bucket and then we're going to click on overlay. Okay. Now we're going to uh, add another layer and we're going to put the visionette. Uh, that's how you say it. You guys know. I don't know how to pronounce that right, but whatever. And uh, first off, shout out to you guys if you're still watching this. You know, if you are, please leave a like. Because, you know, I I need to show, I need y'all to show me that you guys want more videos like this. So, just drop a like on this video if you are enjoying it. And, yeah. Um, so, once you've done this, this is like my way of making a vignette. You can easily just do a gradient. But I don't want to do that. I want to make it my own. So, I'm going to get the paintbrush that's really soft. And it kind of make it big enough to where I... Don't fill up the whole screen, but fill up a little bit, and I just click around it, and then do it like that. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we're going to add another layer, and how... Oh my gosh, and this is where we add the brushes. Um, let me see... Okay, it does. Alright, so you see these things up here? This is like the brushes I used earlier, so I'm going to do it again. I don't know if I used it. Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to get this paint flush. Oh my god, I cannot talk. I'm sorry, I can't. Alright, that shit is scary. Something is moving right there. I don't know what's moving, but that... Oh my gosh, y'all. Uh... Shit. Alright, well, you know what? I'm just not gonna look over there. If a ghost kills me, you know, whatever. But anyway, you wanna get this paint splatter right here, and you wanna just go over it. You don't wanna do it too much. You really don't. And then click overlay, and then duplicate it again. Okay, now we're gonna add a starburst. Uh... Let's go right here, starburst right there, alright, I think that's big enough already, yeah it is. Alright, so I'm going to get it right in the center, like that, and then click overlay. Alright, that looks good so far, I don't really like the placement of that, so I'm going to replace it. I'm going to put it somewhere like there, or, you know, if I want to change it again, I'll just do this. I'll make it bigger. Alright, there we go. Now, we're going to click overlay, bam, that shit looks tight. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, now we're going to add, in my opinion, I'd say this is the Beyond a Buzzer brush right here. As you can see, look at the background. It looks really dope, in my opinion. So, apply this if you want. You don't have to, but I decided to do it. All right, I don't know if I duplicated it. Did I? Um, 
What the hell is it? I don't even... What, what the hell? Oh, there it is. Uh... Okay... Okay, so I did, but I did it a different way. But oh well, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, yeah, that's too much, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And now we're gonna add these little borders. Now, sadly, they do not fit the entire screen, so I'm gonna have to duplicate it. As you guys will see, watch, I'm gonna put it in the corner right there, and I'm gonna put it in this corner as well. Then we're gonna put it on overlay, and then duplicate the shit out of it. Uh, I think two is good, but let me see what three looks like. All right, I like three. So now we're going to go on each one of them, and we're going to erase the things right here because I don't really like them here. And we're going to do that on all of the layers. All righty. Now we got to do it to the last one. Okay, how long is this video so far? Ten minutes. This is actually not bad. It's probably going to be my shortest raw edits because I know what I'm actually doing. So, um... Now, the next thing you can do is up to you, but I decided to do it, and we're going to add Clemson Tigers, and the font's up there. As you can see, it's a black sword, so you can put that if you want. Uh, let me see if I'm spelling this right. I'm not. Clemson. Okay, so I got that. Now, we're going to make it smaller, and then we're going to make it even bigger, like that. Clemson. Okay, that was good. Now we're going to put this on overlay and then go to FX down here and put a drop shadow like that. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate it and we are going to put it down here and then we are simply going to hit the text box and then put tigers like that. All right. Now we're going to situate that and that looks good to me. So I think we're done here. Um, I might actually go back to this vignette because I think that I did a little bit too much. So. Uh, I'm going to fix that really quick. Let me do the same thing I did earlier. If you want, you don't even have to add a vision. This is what it looks like without one. But, you know, I kind of want to just because it looks cooler in my opinion. And it kind of makes the players pop out a little bit more if you do have one. So I highly recommend it. But you don't have to. All right, so let me fix this. I'm going to do it like that. Do it one more time. All right, that looks good to me. Okay. Now, let's say your players are a little bit too bright. You just duplicate them, go here, and click soft light. Okay, then you go to image, adjustments, black and white, blah, blah, blah. Now, you see the opacity right here? You just turn it to zero, and then go up, and then go as much as you want to go. I'm going to put it to around here, around 35 or so. I like that. Now, we're going to add a motion blur to them. Alrighty, now we're going to go to blur, motion blur. Alright, that looks good to me. Put it on screen. All right, now, this is um, optional. You can blur the background if you'd like, but you don't have to. For this edit, I'm actually going to. So put it to 5 or maybe even 4.5 or maybe even 3. I don't know. But I'm going to put it to 4 because that looks cool in my opinion. Now, the most important part, your watermark. I'm doing the same font as you can see up there. It says Black Sword, and we're going to put Strong's Graphics. And we're going to put it at the top right here uh like that let me make it a little bit smaller you don't want your watermark too big because then it'll just look really weird in my opinion and there you go now that is my style of a beyond the buzzer edit um you know there is different styles of this let me show you all an example let me try to find it up here y'all probably already seen it a whole bunch of times but this is like one of the examples so we got jarvis landry right here which is just a simple one player edit right here and then that's one style and then we got this style and then we have Mark Ingram right here where he has a player in the background and himself and it has Mark Ingram and then we have let me check this one no not that one not that one let's go to Odell no that one's not what about Aaron Rodgers okay so Aaron Rodgers is another one this is a different style as well the hell is that can you hear that what the shit yo i swear i'm home alone actually so if somebody kills me um all right p there's nothing i could do about it all right so let's check out these i think all right so this is another style so yeah there's just a crazy amount of styles you could do with this type of edit so um you know let me guys nice let me guys what a neck dude 
let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, comment below. Oh, oh, maybe I might even do a, a style or uh, editing cut on this style. I just recently made it. Uh, let me show y'all other examples. Uh, we got Aaron Rodgers, the same thing. I don't know why I really like this one. The blue really sticks out. Uh, Giants Packers, Odell. Uh, what about here? All right, so that's the one I did. Um, let's see if there's any difference. There's not really. The only difference is that I had a little bit more brush to it. But, you know, other than that, the skin looks the same. Yeah, that's it. That's basically it right there. That looks really sweet in my opinion. Um, this PSD is in my pack. And like I said earlier, if you want to get the brushes to this, you have to buy my pack. And the brush pack is called All... Um, let me see. All... I think it's called All Brushes. Yeah, it is. All right, so... If you do have my um, editing pack, it's called All Brushes. So basically click it and then go to Photoshop and then do whatever the hell you want to do. And uh, yeah, guys, that's basically been the video. Please subscribe if you guys are new. And shout out to you guys again that are watching this video and still sticking around with me. I really appreciate it. Um, just It's been really busy with me lately. And, uh, you know, it's I don't even know how the hell I'm posting this video. But I am and I made time for it. And uh, yeah. Um, Expect more. I don't know when, but soon I will have videos going up. So be prepared for that. And also, I might even have a skin coming out really soon. So watch out for that. Go to, to Strong Skins. Make sure you guys have, uh, follow me. Um, shout out to Phase Rain right there. Yeah. Uh, Instagram. Um, I really like. There's some people that follow. Oh, look at that. I posted this earlier. Um. Some people follow my YouTube, but don't even follow my account, like on Instagram. Like, how do you do that? I'm almost at 26.2 followers. That, what the hell did I just, wow, y'all, 26.2. What, what kind of number is that? 26.2. I mean, it, it's a number, but that's not how many followers I have, you know what I mean? All right, I meant to say I have almost 26,200 followers, so... Make sure you follow me on this account and also follow my editing account, which you guys saw earlier, Strong's Graphics. Uh, as you can see right here, I really like my logo, so that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, that's basically where I post all my edits that I post on YouTube and, you know, do the edits, tutorials, and stuff like that. So make sure you go check this account out and also my main account. And uh, yeah, guys, please subscribe if you guys aren't new. Please look like you did enjoy. Cause she was true. I keep them shooters on the guys. Get me in a truck or them things I move.